Have you ever watched a kid at Christmas or maybe on their birthday tear through one gift after another without actually stopping to enjoy a single one? Maybe you've actually done that. Do you ever feel that maybe that's how you're living your day each day? You tear through each moment doing all the things, responding to all the text, and you get to the end of the day and it's all a blur. That's okay. You're not alone. Take a minute right now and stop trying to do it all. Be mindful of the gift that is today. Welcome to The Next Simple Step. I'm Paul Goldsmith. And today I want to encourage you to make a friend today or maybe deepen a friendship that has languished. According to Google Trends, how to make friends is currently being searched at an all-time high. I get it. I'm a type A driven person myself, always chasing the next accomplishment, but quite often at the expense of personal relationships. There is never enough time. And a lesson I've had to learn over and over is you can't rush meaningful relationships with loved ones, friends, coworkers, and especially customers. Having kids has been the greatest teacher in my life because every day my seven-year-old Hudson will ask me to play catch. It never fails. And most of the time, I think, well, I'm too busy, or I'm too tired, or can he go play with his sister? And I want to say no, but I've recently started saying yes more often. And on the mornings before school, when we play catch, it becomes a highlight of my entire day. Because I know in a few short years, he won't ask me to play catch anymore. Stephen Covey used to say, with people, slow is fast, and fast is slow. Real relationships require us to slow down, even when everything around us is demanding we go faster. The Navy SEALs simplified the concept even further with the phrase, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. If you want smoother relationships with people, slow down. You ever notice the older you get, the faster life goes? I sure have. And I've realized that you have to be intentional with relationships. You have to decide to prioritize people overdoing all the things. I heard this great analogy. You wouldn't go swimming in the ocean and then be disappointed that you didn't get to experience all of it. Enjoy the part you're in. Daily FOMO or fear of missing out is actually sabotaging your relationships. If you think about it, it's not just your relationship with other people. It's your relationship with yourself and your spiritual life. As Dallas Willard said, Hurry is the greatest enemy of the spiritual life in our day. You must ruthlessly eliminate hurry from your life. There's an idea. None of us, no man, woman, or child, is an island. I believe that you and all of us were made for community and connection. And the people that would have us believe that their products or their politician are the solution to our deepest needs, our loneliness, They're lying for the sake of profit or power. If you're looking for some like-minded friends, I'd encourage you to start with something you're passionate about. Find a group that gets together to do that. For me, I found great friends at the gym and in an entrepreneurial group I'm in. And if you have an old friend, but it's been a while, text them right now to let them know you're thinking about them. Better yet, schedule some time to get together. This doesn't just apply to personal friendships. Your professional relationships are also strained when you don't prioritize them. There's a great story from the 80s when General Motors was getting hammered and their largest stockholder at the time was the eccentric billionaire H. Ross Perot. Remember him? He very publicly blasted the company, going so far as to say, we've got to nuke the GM system. The system he was referring to was top-level management's elitism and disconnection from their customers. Perot demanded that they get rid of their executive dining rooms, heated garages, and chauffeur-driven limousines. Think about it. It's the leaders of GM, a company that sells cars, and they were being driven around in limos. As Perot was known for saying in presidential debates, that dog won't hunt. (laughs) If you're struggling in your business, Spend more time with your customers. It sounds so simple, yet few do it. What are your customers' problems, their challenges, their fears? How can you help them? You remember the golden rule from school? 
do unto others as you'd have them do to you. It doesn't work as well as the platinum rule. Treat others how they want to be treated. People are unique and they don't know what you know. And they don't necessarily want what you want. You have to connect with them on their terms, not yours. So when you're trying to turn around a business or a personal relationship, the key is the same, empathy. Find out what makes the other person tick and encourage them. Help them get what they want. I hope you're able to take some time today, reach out to a friend or two or a customer and let them know you care. I care about you and I thank you for listening to the next Simple Step Podcast. I'll talk to you again soon.